We never actually set out to be filmmakers. It's just something that naturally happened for us over the last 10 years or so. It was always about music for us growing up. It was always about learning songs from my dad's vinyl collection, spending time and making music with friends. Being a filmmaker at that point was just something we hadn't even thought about. It's funny how sometimes a chance can come along and without you knowing it, take you in a completely different direction. It was Christmas 2009 when our parents bought us our first camera, that little Panasonic handheld thing. Yeah. And we were weeks away from flying out to America with our band to record our second album. And as you can imagine, we were just ridiculously excited for this experience. And the camera wasn't really there with the intention of making films or anything like that. It was just to capture the memories that we were making while we were out there with our best friends making music. <laughs> So we got home and the band was doing really well. We're, every weekend we're out somewhere different in the country playing gigs and getting more footage. After a little while we're sat with all this footage and we're like what, what do we do with all this? So we started syncing it up to the, the recorded music we had and creating little music videos. And I think that was the first time we'd ever really created something with the intention of putting it out there to be watched. It was terrible, terrible quality. But it didn't matter because people were responding to it. Fast forward a few years and I just finished uni, Jake, you were in your last, last year, year yeah. um, and we'd always dreamed of owning our, our own recording studio and the opportunity came up to rent a place and, and to build the studio that, that we're in now. So I was in a graduate sales position selling IT equipment to, to businesses and I saved up absolutely everything I could. And while Josh was doing that, I was in my final year at university sending Josh all of my essays to write at work so that I could spend every minute of my day down here with the builders building this studio to keep the cost down. So it was at this point I bought my first DSLR. With whatever little money was left from my student loan and building this place, I managed to buy a Nikon D3100, which at the time was the best I could afford and it was everything that we needed. I was still so wrapped up in making music. So we had bands in here every weekend, recording and producing records. And Jake was making music videos for our band. And the bands we were working with, they started noticing and saying, hey, will you, will you do one for us? So we started doing these pretty low budget videos that they were starting to share on, on Facebook and YouTube. And we started to get a bit of traction. So bands started noticing us and we started to make a little bit of money. And we used all that money to buy a new camera, a Nikon D750, a few new lenses, lights, cameras, tripods, everything that we needed to be a low budget film company. The more bands we worked with on the record production, the more music videos we ended up doing, and it just kind of naturally grew. It wasn't something we tried to do, it just happened. Mm -hmm. And then a good friend of mine, Sean, uh, was getting married, and I was one of his groomsmen. And he gave me a call a few weeks beforehand and he said, hey, do you, uh, do you guys want to film the wedding? And I was, I don't think I can be a part of the wedding and film it. But Jay was like, hey, I'll, I'll do it. I did. So I'm in my two Nikons, a kit lens and a 50 mil. I gave it a go. We didn't know it at the time, but that was the beginning of film taking over absolutely everything. Around this time, I'd been seeing my partner Sarah for a little while. And it was a Friday night. And it was the first time I was going to be meeting some of our extended family. So I'm sat in this pub at a table. I've got a pint in front of me. And in walks a cousin. And he sits down and he says, hey, I'm Chris, and I'm a wedding photographer. They mentioned that they did a little bit of videography work and I'd done a wedding or two. Um, if I'm being honest, I kind of dismiss that because everybody has a camera these days and everybody's a photographer. But then an opportunity came up for a, a wedding in Italy. I, I'd already booked the couple and I'd already booked the bride and chatted to her about what she wanted. Immediately what I noticed from, from Sky's video is that it was cinematic and it was, it was producing a story. It wasn't your traditional wedding video. It was produced like it was a music video or a film trailer. It was so much more dynamic. So it was exciting to see these boys in action and see what we could actually produce for the couple. So the next day I called the bank up. 
we get a loan out, Jake sells his Nikons, and we buy a completely new setup of Sony cameras ready for this wedding. We fly out to Italy and we just film everything for about four days solid. So we get back from Italy with our video and decide that we're going to take a risk and go on the biggest wedding fair at the north of England. We don't have much money left in the business. We spent it all on cameras and getting all the gear we needed to do the job in the first place. So what we have left is, is wiped out by this fair. This needs to work. If it didn't work, the business would be done. Thankfully, the couple start coming in and this, they were sitting down, they were watching the films we were putting out there and they started to book us. One thing we've learned is that when an opportunity comes along, you've got to take it. And before you even realise what's happening, everything can change. You rethink what you want to do, where you want to be, and it just has a way of leading you off down a path that you never saw yourself taking in the first place, but it can take you to some amazing places. We spent years telling other people's stories, and I think it's about time we told our own. So that has been the last 10 years. What's next?